and welcome to my kitchen and new episode of Prepper's Pantry. Today I wanted to share with you what we're going to have for dinner tonight because it all comes from food storage. And I wasn't going to do a video, but after I decided what to make for dinner, I thought, you know, Rick, let's do a video because this is just a really good reminder that when you have food storage on hand and you are having a really busy day, like today we went school shopping for Micah. And then Molly had to go run somewhere, so I had to go there. And then when we came home, you know, we had a couple of little accidents. The light over my sink decided to break. And, and, and Micah broke the toilet. And Micah broke the toilet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we had to do a couple of things that were unexpected. And tomorrow I'm going to get ready. I'm going to be canning about 35 pounds of uh, chicken breast because chicken was on sale at my local grocery store. And the bags of chicken were buy two, get three free. So that's when you got to can chicken. And I said the next time it goes on sale, I'm going to can chicken. Because I went in my pantry the other day, and I'm down to two jars of canned chicken. I wanted to kick myself. I've been so busy doing other things this summer that I haven't really paid attention. And I was just telling my friend Cat's Cradle the same thing. I really feel like I've fallen behind, and it's time to get back into the program and get you know, step up our preps. So, anyway, busy day calls for a quick and easy dinner. So we're gonna have spaghetti. And this is how we're gonna do it from food storage. You you all see, or many of you have seen, and um, that we can Rick's spaghetti sauce when he makes it, and that's what this is. When I make it for dinner, and we like to have a little bit left over now because we have a refrigerator and electricity, and that's all great. So what I like to do to round this out Stretch it. To stretch it. And the reason these are wet is because whenever I take them out, I always rinse them off. One quart of my home canned um, spaghetti sauce. And then a pint of my home canned ground beef. And then I round that out with one jar of store-bought pasta sauce because this helps it all come together. And then you're going to have a box of pasta from your storage. So you round this out with a garden salad, and this is a meal that is entirely from food storage. Um, and I, I think that we can never have too many reminders that it's easy to do that. Hmm? So, get a jar, a spoon here. And of course, this is your preference, you know. I like to, uh... Do we have some mushrooms? I have dehydrated mushrooms. In fact, if you'll hang on a second, I'll go get some. I had to open my big mouth. <laughs> okay, so then we have... Oh, see, I'm almost out. I have to get a new can. We'll just toss... Mm. We'll just toss all this in here. Mushroom dust. Mm. It's flavor. It's flavor. No worries. I use every last bit. You know, um, in big fancy French restaurants and they get the exotic dehydrated mushrooms and they grind those up into dust and they, uh, they crust meat with it. So, you know, I'm not going to waste this. Also, don't waste your can. My can is empty, but keep this can, line it with a Ziploc bag, and then the next time you dehydrate something, store it in here. It already has a lid. When you line it with a can, you can drop an oxygen absorber in the bag. You can drop an oxygen absorber in there. It's going to stay fresh. Pop open our meat. I'm going to dump the whole thing right in there. There was very little fat because the way I can my ground beef, I actually brown it off completely. And I rinse it with hot water. So there may have been a little bit of fat in there. That's all right. That's just going to add to the flavor of the sauce. It smells good. It does smell good. We don't need to season this because Rick already seasoned it when he cooked it. And pressure canning has intensified those seasonings. I've got my large stock pot over here filled with water ready to boil so we can invite the pasta for a hot tub. And uh, we're going to have dinner in just a little while. So when that happens, when all this is ready, I'm going to come back and fix you a plate of uh, Prepper's Pantry Spaghetti all from food storage. So we'll be back in a little while. Okay, we're all ready for supper. 
I'm getting a possible out of the cupboard. Um, this took less than 15 minutes. And we're all ready to eat. I like to heat up the sauce with the lid off because it helps it to reduce just a little and get some of that residual moisture out of there. And then also, um, the other thing that helps thicken that sauce up or tighten it up a bit is the dehydrated mushrooms. They're going to absorb some of the liquid as well. And you also have the choice. You don't have to put the liquid from the ground beef in there, but I don't like to waste that. And I think it just makes your sauce stretch even and, more. And as HDF, you wouldn't waste it. You wouldn't. Absolutely correct. Okay, so over here, we're going to go. Everybody's eating. So there you have it. Quick and easy spaghetti dinner from food storage that didn't take you all day because you already cooked it a year ago. That's the best part. I absolutely love pressure canning for that very reason. Mm -hmm. You cooked it a year ago. I cooked that ground beef in July of last year. We cooked the spaghetti sauce in September of last year. And now we're in August of 2012 and we're enjoying it tonight on a night that we were so busy all day today that making a meal like this was probably out of the question. So, I hope that gives you a great idea for a meal from food storage. You're going to round this out with a green garden salad and maybe some homemade bread, and you're going to have a feast. And in an SHTF situation, we're going to need the calories, and we're also going to need to boost the morale, because if you don't have good things to eat, people are going to be very sad and you don't want them to get depressed because one of the first things that's going to lead to that depression is appetite fatigue and hunger. So we don't want that. We want to avoid that at all costs. So anything you can do to make sure that doesn't happen is the best thing you can do. So I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.